nice transition run. Let's go back and watch that. So we've been working on uh, when we block the outside pin. Um, these guys get a nice touch. He comes straight back and he puts himself in a position to run a, what we call as a six, but would be a back one. So this is a nice series, like on the defensive side at least. So like these guys get set, read, good touch here. Like, and the lands, turns, finds a short transition. It's a three-step move and gets on the ball fast. So um, we've been working like our middles are transitioning usually to a back one or a front one on the front pin, and then when we're on the back pin. They transition to a gap, and we've worked in what we call a little bit of a two, which is kind of like a floating ball away. Um, and it's pretty systematic in transition. That way, our Vic route guys kind of know what's coming at them, and really that makes it a little bit nicer in terms of that. If we go back to that play again, we can kind of see what our our Vic guy does. I'm not sure if this one or the one before. Yeah. Yeah, this was the one before. I think it's right before this. He misses. Yeah, yeah it's this one. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. I'll, I'll press pause when they touch the yeah. ball block. So right there. Yeah, and so I'll he lands. When, when, yeah, okay, he's playing the ball. Probably he's out. And our middle go on. This guy digs it to see if he, he would come for a front big. So our spacing is pretty good. Just in terms of having four attackers in different lanes, which puts some pressure on the defense on the other side for sure to reset. So to be clear, he talked about because of course, like international knee and like everywhere, like these the uh, what's the word the, the nomenclature is. Look at me you're using these fancy words. Um, so if you if you talk about it too, it's like a ball between a one and a and a and a gap. So it's like yep. a slower ball, like. Moving away from the from the center. Yep, exactly. So you kind of see a lot of middles running those drift routes right now, um, and a lot of times that drift route starts from a spaced off ball. Whether and I call we call that a two in our gym, so it's kind of a okay. spaced off one. But with our normal two, we're just up and down. We're not fading towards the center or fading away, uh, so it allows uh, some gap space in there between the center and where the middle's attacking right there from that standpoint. We worked on it quite a bit just recently too. And so but it's first we were just doing gaps when we were blocking the opposite, uh, because it just kept it easy. So we were kind of, we slowly turned the page, give them an, another option here and there. But I think we just made the routes easy and clean. When you block the front pin, it's one or back one. When you block the back pin, it's a gap and it made it nice and easy. 